What's going on, guys? So this is going to be a client guide. I know that a lot of people have had uh, issues connecting to the server. So hopefully with this guide, it should uh, solve people's problems. I know that uh, there's a, a couple things that... Uh, the, uh, a lot of the people that have had problems have had the same problems. So hopefully this will help. All right, so to get started, the link will be in the description for the uh, forums. Uh, we actually have new forums, so I'm going to link the new ones. These are what they look like. Still working on it. Obviously, there's no posts or anything. We're still in the process of moving things over. Uh, also, I want to find uh, like a better background and a better theme and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, so on either forums, whether you're on the, uh, the newer ones or the older ones, at the top you'll have Play Now. Uh, so you can just click that. Uh, for here, it will just start downloading it right away. On the old ones, it will take you to Dropbox. Uh, so if you go to the Dropbox, you should uh, it should say something like can't be previewed. Just give it a second. And um, should it might take a little bit longer because I do have a lot of things open. There you go. There's the download option now. So you'll, you'll download that and essentially you're getting the same thing. So you're going to save the file and then figure out wherever it's saved. All right, so go to where it's saved, and you should have this. Uh, should say it, should, the one shouldn't be there. That's because I have this. Uh, click it, and uh, the first time it will download the cache. Uh, so it'll take a little bit longer, and then once the cache is downloaded, it'll say close, uh, close the client, and restart, and then you'll restart. Obviously, I already have the cache, so it's not going to do that. Uh, if for whatever reason your cache messes up, just delete the cache and delete the client and try again. If it happens a second time, like if, if doing that doesn't help anything, uh, report your problem either on the forums or in the comments of this video. Uh, and, um, if you're on Windows, you're... Uh, f uh, let me make sure I don't show anything bad. I don't know what I would show. Um, but you'd go to where wherever your caches are stored, so just go to wherever you would be. And then um, it's Revival V1. Delete that and... Um, yeah, if you have any other problems, just delete that. And if there's anything crazy that I don't talk about, then just comment. So that's pretty much it. You're, you're good to go from there. Now, obviously, some people have other problems. Uh, so if you're on Windows 10, I believe it, it mostly pertains to Windows 10. Uh, this jar might not be a jar. I, I've, I've, I've team viewed a couple people, and they've all had the exact same problem. So this might be either like the WinRAR, it could be a folder, it could be an internet browser. I've seen that one as a lot. Uh, so if it's that, if it, if that's the case for you, um, you make sure you have Java. So if you're wanting to check if you have Java, go to Windows. Uh, if you're not on Windows, I have no clue how to help you. I'm just, I apologize. I'm just being honest. Uh, so you'll go to Program Files or 86, whichever one it is, and you should have Java. See, this right this is empty, so let's put in the other one. And there you go. These are the Javas I have. I don't think it makes a difference. I think you can just go to java.com. I'll have that link in the description as well. Just go to java.com and download the newest one. That should work perfectly fine. Um, so I'm not entirely sure if this is the best way to do it. I'm just going to do it because this is the way I know how to do it. Uh, so what you're going to do is if it's not, like if it's not, so yeah, we'll just pretend that this is not, a uh, WinRAR file, or this is not a jar, this is like an internet file or a WinRAR file, or, or whatever. If it's not a jar, it's going to fall under the same thing. So what you're going to do is you're going to right-click it, and you're going to open with. Uh, so you'll have probably like Notepad here or Internet or something like that, and then you'll have Choose Default Program, and you'll have more options. And uh, If you have this right here, this is what you're looking for. If you have this, click that, and then it'll make it a jar. So then you should be able to run it. If you don't have that, if that's not an option, as you see, it's running right here, although I must have clicked it multiple times because it's now running multiple. If that isn't an option, what you're going to do is you're going to go through, choose default program, go to more options, and then look for another app on this, on this uh, computer. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find where your Java is. And then go in here. To, I don't entirely know which one is the correct one. I just know that this works. So then pick one of these. Uh, just pick the java.exe right here. And that should turn it into like what would look like a jar. So it, you, you're thinking you're probably good. And then when you click it, it won't load. It'll just close right away. Or if it doesn't close right away, it'll probably just give you an error. So there's this uh, thing you're going to download. The link will be in the description. It's called Jarfix. The website is in German. So don't, uh, you know, don't be alarmed by the German. Uh, so right here, when I link it to you, just scroll a little bit down. And you're looking for this right here, this thing. Click that. It's going to take you to the download. And then uh, right here, uh, click Zoom Download. 
And then I believe download again, right? And again, super German. I'm pretty sure that's German. So you're going to be downloading this Jarfix program. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, all you have to do is just run it. Literally just run it and it fixes your jars. And then once you run it, it'll, uh, it'll, the jar will work. So this is, um, this has worked for the, everybody I've team viewered and they've all had the same problem. They've played on Windows 10. If you have any other problems uh, that I don't go over here, comment below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. I'm not the best with clients, but Dark has been around recently, so he should be able to help if I can't help. And the last thing doesn't really pertain to the update, but uh, the uh, there was a, a there was a, a game update today. It's pretty good. There's a a ton of things in it. I'll just kind of skim through it real quick, and then of course this will be linked. So if you want to take a look at it, uh, ranging pots, uh, super ranging pots, and super magic pots were added. Bone Crusher was added. Uh, it is dropped from Superior Creatures, and then it's also in the Slayer Shop, I believe. Uh, the XP cap is now 500 mil. It used to be 200 mil, um, as it was in, like, RuneScape and whatnot. Now it's 500 mil, so that should be pretty interesting to see what kind of gains people get. The Obsidian armor set was increased. Uh, there's instance tokens, which create another rooms. The server's been kind of getting... It's been getting more popular lately, and with that, the some of the bosses have kind of been getting, uh, you know, camped, so... Uh, for God Wars and Corporal Beast, there's now more rooms if you have the instance tokens. And then, last but not least, the last raid boss was released, the Mutadile. So I'll have this in the description as well if you want to have a read. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any problems, just let me know. Comment below.